Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Wig Studio One. I'm here to show you the Ellen Villa Wig Blues in the color Dark Cherry Mix, which is 133.33. Dot 34. Those are the codes for the colors in this beautiful, vibrant, dark cherry mix. If you want to know more about this style, this color, all about this wig, then stick around and I will tell you all about her. So happy to be partnering with Wig Studio One to bring you this style today. I love working with them. I've worked with them for a number of years and it's always fun when I get to try something different. They did send me this wig so that I could review it for all of you. Please check Wig Studio One out. They have a ton of resources. They have their online retail site which is wigstudioone.com. They have a Facebook group with like double digit thousands of women and that's Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group on Facebook. They're on Instagram, they're on all the social media, they have a lot, a lot of help and support and they have a lot of reviewers, both regular and guest reviewers like me, so that you get to see wigs on tons of different women, which is so awesome. So please check them out and I wanna thank them publicly for their support of me and my channel and allowing me to try different things. All right guys, Let's look at blues from all around and then let's start talking about her. This is a very low density, low permatease style. I want to just get something out right from the very beginning. I am a little bit of a bigger girl. I am 5'9", and I am at least 50 pounds overweight, maybe a little bit more than that even. And I carry a lot of weight in my cheeks. So flat, low permatease, low poof, low volume styles like this aren't always the most flattering on me, or I should maybe say I don't flatter styles like this that much. So just keep that in mind. When you're watching these wig reviews, not every style is perfect for every woman in every face shape. This style would be so adorable on someone with some more delicate features than I have, maybe a little bit more of a petite face, someone whose face isn't as round as mine so that uh, the hair, if it's too flat and too low volume, it sort of accentuates if you've got a round face. So just keep in mind, if you're someone who is a little bit more petite, you get overwhelmed by wigs, you don't like a lot of hair, you don't like a lot of poof or permatease, you like these shorter, sleek styles, this is awesome. I, don't, I really don't think I'm doing it justice, but I can tell you all about it at least so that you have all the details and all the information, which is why I'm willing to review anything, even if they don't look great on me. So I just wanted to say that because I'd hate for you to judge this style harshly just because it's not exactly the right one for me. Let's talk about this wig. So this is, like I said, a very sleek, very polished style with very little permatease. Um, honestly, it probably has just a tiny bit of crimpy fibers right along the cap because this is mostly a machine made cap, but it's so minimal that I would say if you don't like permatease, you can safely purchase this one and you don't have to worry about it. It clearly has a full bang. The bangs do feel just a tad bit long for me and my forehead shape, they kind of poke me just slightly in the eye. That though is good because if you've got a, a longer forehead a, you know, than I do, a higher forehead, however you want to say it, you'll have a little bit of room to grow on that. So it's always good when uh, manufacturers leave those bangs just a tad too long. It can be a pain. I know you need to trim them up a little bit. At least it, it makes them more flexible for multiple people. I do have a video out there. It's my review of Noriko Alva. 
I think that's the one. Yeah. Um, where I show you how to trim up some bangs because that one had the bangs just a little bit too long for me. So if you're someone who would struggle with this and feel like you're not equipped to at least just trim them up a little bit, go watch that video. Just search Denise Sheets Alva on, on YouTube and you'll be able to find it. And then that way you've got at least a little bit of help if you need to do some adjusting. This, um, like I said, is a mostly a machine made cap. So I'm just going to go straight into the cap for you guys and show you how this is constructed because it has a unique feature that isn't used a lot. Although Ellen Villa does like to use this. It's called a mono crown. That is a mono crown. It's just a bit of monofilament right at the crown. And what that does is it allows the hair to part a little bit more naturally up there so that it lays a little bit more naturally. It's really not there to be terribly cosmetic because you really can't see it. But what you can see is just like a normal parting like someone might have on the top of their head. And it helps so that if there is any permatease close to the cap that gives the hair a place to part so you don't see visible permatease which you don't on this one and you wouldn't anyway just because they're so very little this is actually a decent sized mono crown I would say it's a little bit bigger than a quarter size and sometimes they're super teeny so that's actually a decent sized mono crown other than that there is no lace front no monofilament it has the soft velvety ear tabs with the bendable stays. It does not have an extended nape and it has Velcro adjusters. So really it's a, it's a comfortable cap. It's a no frills cap. And I got to tell you guys, I appreciate that they didn't put a lace front on this one because it has a full bang. When I have reviewed wigs in the past that have a full bang and a lace front, I almost feel gypped because I, a, a lace front on a full bang wig is kind of a waste. You don't really see that lace front, but it increases the price. Uh, and so on a wig like this, because of the full bang, if this had, would have had a lace front, you're not going to do a whole lot with it. So again, you'd be paying more for something you don't really need. Now this is truly a full bang. So if you're someone who wants more of a side sweat bang, it really doesn't want to do that because the bangs are quite short. You could play with it. You could put product in it. If you really wanted to work to get this sort of swept more to the side, I think think you could manage it with some manipulating, maybe taking a little heat of, of like a low heat to it. This is not a heat friendly synthetic, so you wouldn't want to take, you know, high heat or anything, but sometimes a little bit of water and a hair dryer on just a really low heat can sometimes redirect bangs, but keep in mind there is no lace front, so you probably don't want to do that too much. So if I would just say if you're not a bang person, this is probably not the style for you, so just keep that in mind. Because this does not have a lot of permatease, I'm really not getting volume and lift in this one. I can sort of mess it up if I want to play with it, and especially if I want to put product in it like John Renault Peace Out Cream or some sort of a, a styling product, I can probably get it a little bit messy, but I'm really not getting much lift. So if you like lift on the top, you need a little bit of volume, I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't expect to be able to do that on this one, even if you took steam to it, because the fibers up here are fairly short and the density is low, you're just really not going to get any volume on this one. So looking for something low volume and low, low poof, this is a good one. This one does tuck really well and so you can totally tuck it and change up that look if you don't want the hair hanging in the front you can just keep a little bit out you can fully tuck it all of that is great if you have bio hair to blend even better but honestly you guys this cap is fitting pretty much true to average i'm not finding this cap to be running really small it doesn't seem to be for me and i'm getting such excellent coverage from this that i could actually do a full tuck and I don't have to worry about my bio hair showing. That I love because sometimes on some wigs, if they don't give me good coverage on the sides, it limits some of the styling that I can do. This one gives me really excellent coverage. So what I want to encourage you to do is look at my measurements in the description of the video. If this is on Wig Studio One, 
my measurements aren't in the description, but you can go to my channel because I always post these reviews on my channel as well. And then you can find my measurements. Why you want to do that and why I hope all reviewers will include their measurements in the description of their videos is it helps you to compare yourself to the person you're watching. So then you can start to assess where do I think those bangs are going to fall on me? Well, what's her hairline to you know eyebrow measurement How, where where is this length gonna fall on me well what's her measurement you know those are things that can be really helpful for you to look at um, so I'm gonna talk about color here now but I just want to kind of wrap this up by saying this wig is super cute the fibers are awesome I love Ellen Villa fibers they're nice and fine and light they're like somebody who has fine hair but it's just perfect. I love the density of this one. If, if you're going for low density, then this one is for you without question. I love Ellen Villa wigs because I think they last a long time. I think this will be a workhorse. I really think this will be something you can wear for a very long time, every single day, and it's going to look great for months months and months. I think this will be a workhorse for you. I own other Ellen Villa wigs that are workhorses, so I have a little bit of experience with that. Um, the price point is really good. You can get this for under 100, 100, under $200, probably like 180, 175, depending on the coupons you can find. So it's a great price point. So all around a really nice piece. Let's talk about this color. Dark let me grab the tag again so I can remind myself of the color number, the code. Dark Cherry Mix, I've never seen this one before, 133.33.4. Those are the color codes. Now, um, color codes can be super helpful, but they aren't always a perfect way to determine color. So why do I say that? 133 isn't actually a color. There's no color 133. It's usually when you see a code that's really not on the color chart, it's a blend of colors. That can be tricky. I do have a color index at my website, heywigsister.com. You can go there and look at all of the different color codes to try to start to educate yourself on color. That's going to be really helpful if you're new to the wig wearing journey. So the color breakdown, let me get up to the camera here. We will get outside. This is a dark burgundy red base so you've got a dark burgundy red it's blended with a dark auburn so there's darker auburn running through and bright cherry red it's not technically let me take this off so it's sometimes easier if I hold it up I get out of this shot and you can kind of see it so it's not technically rooted there is no like darker rooting the color blend goes all the way to the root you can see vibrant cherry, you can see burgundy, you can see some almost just like standard dark brown. And it's, there's no like super chunky highlights. It's very well sort of blended, but dynamic. It leans more on the sort of violet end of the spectrum. So when you look at this color, I'm seeing kind of a dark, vibrant, violety, cherry red. That's what I'm seeing when I look at these colors. But it's not unnatural. I would not consider this a fashion color. I would not think that this would be only one that somebody can wear who's comfortable wearing out their colors. This looks like it could, I mean, it looks like you probably had something done at a salon, but it looks very beautiful, very natural. If you love dark, dark, reddish browns with, you know, leaning more toward purple, uh, but it's not purple, then I think this could be a great color for you. It reminds me a little bit of John Renault Chocolate Cherry, uh, kind of in that area. Just beautiful. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. And I have, um, I don't have it out of the box for you guys if you're on Wig Studio One. If you're on my channel, I'll throw it out of the box on. And the reason I do that is because we can't upload the exact same video to two channels. YouTube will catch that. This is out of the box. I did nothing to it. It's truly like this. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't hang it upside down. I didn't really even have to really shake it out a whole lot. I kind of played with it with my hands and that's it. 
And that's what happens when you get a low density, low permatease wig. They tend to look really good out of the box. They tend to need very little intervention. So that's a plus. All right, guys, let's get outside. Thank you, Wig Studio One, for sending me this one. This was a fun one to show everybody. And I know I've got some wig sisters out there going, hmm, I might need to get that one. So talk to you guys soon. All right, everyone, we are outside with this gorgeous color. This is a really pretty color, you guys. You can really see that cherry out here. Again, no rooting. Isn't it gorgeous? If you love your deep reds, your fire reds, your violet reds, your burgundies. This is a great color. I would definitely consider it in any of the Allen Villa wigs if they offer it. It doesn't come in very many of them, unfortunately. But if it does, you should snap it up. And one more up close. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. All right, everyone, this is an out of the box that I did for Instagram, and it did have a voiceover, which wouldn't download for me. So I'm just gonna record something here so it's not totally silent. What you really care about out of this out of the box is how it looks when I put it on my head. I've shown you the cap and everything, so none of that part really matters. But look at how great it looks on my head. This thing came out of the box looking stunning. No box hair, no cold crimping. She looked fabulous. So if you're struggling with the wig journey and, and you're unsure whenever you put a wig on your head whether it will work for you, you'll be able to tell right away with this one with no problem. Really cute.